Well, we need to find Full Grand somewhere or Pete's gonna kill me. I think he's here. He must be after Daniel. Oh, let me guess. You're not him. I'm bluffing. You think I won't break your arm? <laughs> okay, okay, you can have the players. Where are they? Well, if you let me go, I'll get them for you. Good boy. I'll be back, Danny boy. Next time you better have the boss's goods. Else I might not be so gentle. I agree, it's so easy for HIV awareness to become old news. Not tomorrow, it won't be. We will be all over the social pages. Ah, uh, maybe. <laughs> well, the way the cameras are flashing, I'd say so. We can only hope. Golf Saturday? I'll be there. Would you rip him with money? Yeah. Tell him Carson put up the venom shields. We'll be fine. We have every right to be here. Excellent. We're the closest thing to Ethan Pierce still standing. Brace yourself. I heard you two were a couple now. I can't say I'm surprised. Evening, Helen. Hi. I have my nine-year-old son with me tonight, Timothy. He has HIV, courtesy of your ex. Yes, I know. I'm, I'm sorry. If you were, you wouldn't be here. You'd be too ashamed. Why? I haven't done anything wrong. You were the person closest to Pierce. You had to have known about Ness's bio, the infected bone material, the body snatching. No, I knew nothing about any of that. You must have turned a blind eye. That's not true. Helen. None of this is Brooke's fault. She was taken in by Pierce just like the rest of us. So says his business partner, in defense of his lover. I don't know how you two can live with yourselves. Well, that could have been worse. Hey, Brooke, don't let her get to you. That's him, isn't it? Timothy Castle? Yes. I should speak to him. Uh, maybe not a good idea. It's the right thing to do. Okay, I'll introduce you. Yeah. I can't do it. I can't face him. You can't stop now. Helen, see us. No, I'm sorry. I can't. Nothing to be ashamed of, eh? That's not the message I'm getting. He's smiling in his sleep, the little button. This is so good for him this time with you. He's in for a lot more. I'm thinking of cancelling his daycare. Why? It costs money. But you're on paid leave. Not for much longer. There's no way I'll be working again until he starts school, my fever. You feel that way now, but you wait. A few sessions with a health nurse. And... Mental health nurse. I have mental problems. It's not a great addition on my CV. You had a breakdown. No one's going to hold that against you. They can't. Are you serious? I confess to murder. If you were a patient, would you feel safe with me? Oh, these things blow over. That's a no, then. Just speak to the health nurse. She'll help you see things more clearly. How? By taking me back to my crazy place, by making me relive everything? You really think that's what I need? She might not do that. She might. She can't turn back the clock. She can't make things the way they were before anything uh, Don't say it, please. She can't change anything, Mum. My life is a wreck. My career's over. We all just better get used to it. Here you go. I don't know why you're being so nice to me. Well, it's more a case of curiosity getting the better of me. Oh? Callum didn't invite you to the fundraiser, did he? No. But you what? Talked him into taking you? Why? You knew who'd be there. I coped with Helen Carson. But seeing her little boy... Yeah, it's sad. There was just no way I could front up to him. Well, so you did know what Ethan was up to with Ness's bio? No. Never. Well, then, why are you feeling so guilty? Because I didn't ask any questions. I could have. I knew he was making too much too quickly, but... But what? Helen's right. I did turn a blind eye. Just like Mum did with Dad. She didn't care where his money came from. She 
she just liked it. But you weren't married to Ethan. That's I loved him. And that makes you responsible, does it, for all of his crimes? No, but... There are no buts, Brooke. Look, I am the last person to let you off the hook for anything, but this is plainly ridiculous. What happened to Timothy Carson has nothing to do with you. Why couldn't I face him? Because he reminds you of all of the terrible things that Ethan did. Things that you need to forget. Well, I can't see a fracture, so we'll treat it as a clinical scapegoat. Why? Well, with these bones and x-ray will only show if there's a fracture around two weeks from now. I'll put a cast on you. Oh, far out. That's just what I need. Thanks, Tony. So you fell. You trip over something. No, I got done over by this goon. What? I copped it on the gut mostly, and then I hit the deck, and you know, when that happened. You called the police? Well, I should, except it went down at your place. What? This goon wanted his boss's stolen MP3 players back. Daniel. That's what he was calling me. And better yet, he's coming back. So no way am I going to be there. Hunter, I'm sorry. I saw the sale. I make Daniel pay. Yeah, well, you better before someone else gets hurt. So, a nightcap? Um, no, thank you. Look, maybe I should just go home. No, 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 no. You were going to stay here and you were going to forget about Helen Carson. But Sarah's right. And you can forget about Sarah, too. Okay. Okay. What are you doing here? And what's happened to your arm? Like you care. Of course I care, Hunter. I was going to crash in my room, OK? But I've changed my mind. But because of me, there's, there's no need. Yeah, I think there is. Hey, settle down. If we knew you were going to be here, we wouldn't have come back. We? Well, you're speaking for her now. Brooke is my guest. I know what she is. Just don't kid yourself and think she feels anything for you. OK? You're a name tag, Dad. It reads CEO. That's all she cares about. Um, maybe I should call a cab. Yeah, that's a good idea. No. Whatever has happened to you tonight, Hunter, it is no excuse for rudeness. Well, there you go. At least we all know where we stand. See ya. Or not. Hey, don't be childish and walk off. Oh, hey, honey. How was work? Eventful. Oh, so was the charity bash. Brooke took one look at Timothy Carson and had a complete meltdown. Ah, I took her to the IV for a drink. And I know I shouldn't be giving her the time of day, but she was a mess. But still, I didn't pull any punches. You now your son's out for the night. No. Hey, Mum. You guys are out, so I'm crashing at Ryan's. His mum's cool with it, so don't worry. Dan. Well, he's told us where he is. That's what we asked for. It's a good thing, isn't it? Nothing about Dan is a good thing. You want to know why he's taking off? Because he's in big trouble. That's why. Kai? What? What on earth have you been doing to yourself? It's what's called in the industry as a uh, suspected scaphoid fracture. Well, you didn't do it at work, did you? Nobody told me. No, not at work. Well, what happened then? Why are you a tea case? Well, I had to get out of there last night. I went home, but, uh, but what? Brooke and Dad were all over each other. Nasty. Hard. Anyway, I came in last night. You weren't here. I told the crew that I'd lock up. Yeah, to pop out for a bit. I came in the back way. Right in here. I must have dropped off. OK, but you said you had to get out of tea case. Why? Did you guys ever run it? Hell no. He fixed me up. Daniel's to blame for this. Daniel? We well, you know that MP3 scam that I told you about? You said you'd sort? I thought I had. Yeah, well, he's still at it. Some goon came gunning for the little jerk. Thought I was him. When I didn't hand over the MP3 players, he gave me a hiding. I've had one hell of a sore gut and this. The goon said he'd be back, so I might need a place to crash for a while until the baddies have crossed their wires. Yeah, she'll take a room upstairs. I can pay rent. No, you won't. Just take it. <sighs> oh, Sarah. Ah, um, Larissa, just go on in. I'll be right there. I called the Bureau, but I can't get a locum at such short notice. I'm oh, sorry. You tried. After what you did for me last night, I really tried. Why don't we reschedule your appointment? No, it's OK. I've got my phone on. If there's any news, TK will call me. You know, kids lie about where they spend the night all the time. I'm, I'm sure Daniel is fine. I'd better get back to my patient. Sorry to keep you waiting. That's OK. Now, how can I help you? 
think I'm depressed. Like, properly depressed. And why do you think that? I'm tired all the time, but I can't sleep. I can't eat. I can't do anything. My head just goes round and round, and I keep on crying. It's really upsetting my husband. He made me promise to come. Now, Larissa, I, I don't know your history, but can you think of something that might have started this, something that may have happened? I had to have a hysterectomy, and now I can never have kids. I still can't believe it. How long ago was this? A few months. I was ten weeks pregnant. The baby had died, but I didn't know. I had to have a DNC. A, a missed miscarriage is very rare. You told me that. But then three weeks later, I started bleeding. It wouldn't stop. That's when they said I needed a hysterectomy. You've had a lot to cope with. They reckon I would have died without the operation, but now I can't have children. And sometimes... Sometimes I think I'd have been better off taking my chances. I suppose you think that's crazy. No, 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 I don't. It's driving me crazy. I want to go back and change it. I want our baby. <laughs> hey, dude, where you been all night? I need the MP3s you're holding. Hey? Come on, I need them. I'm leaving town. You're kidding me. No, I'm not kidding. If Pete finds me, he'll kill me. Now give me the damn MP3s. It's your old man. I know. Stop. Talk to me. What do you think I'm doing? Get out of your life. You should be glad. I'm stupid. Come here. Come here. Come here. Sit. Sit. You know what happened, Hunter, don't you? I treated him. We know exactly what you've been up to. So I'm right. You want me gone? That is not an option. We are responsible for you. I'm 17. You I'm part of the Fana. You belong with us. No matter what idiot things you get yourself mixed up in. Do you know how serious this is, the kind of people you're dealing with? Yes. No, I don't think you do. This is real crime, Daniel. These thugs mean business. And someone has to sort it out, keep you safe. That's our job. And then what? What? Mum will send me back to Samoa. She'll have her excuse. I don't know what she'll decide. I guess that depends on how you handle yourself from here on in. Meaning what? You think she's your mum? She wants to believe the best of you. But you have to give her something to work with. last night yeah what did you think of it pretty boring <laughs> my name's Brooke by the way Tim is it all right if I join you yeah um, I'm a doctor here so I know your mum is she in a meeting no I've got an appointment I saw you last night you left yeah lucky you you missed all the speeches did they go on a bit whatever <laughs> I already know about that HIV I've got it What's that like? Not too bad. I feel okay most of the time. Do you mind talking about it? People don't usually want to know. I do. Only I am starving. Do you fancy a slab of cake? Yes, please. Mm. You okay? Yeah. You arranged to meet then? Ah, uh, no, coward that I am. I walked in and there he was. Thanks. I'll see you soon. Yeah. So what made you decide to become a nurse, Maya? What made you decide to be a mental health worker? Thought I might be good at it. Same. And do you plan on picking up your career again? <laughs> you must be joking. Why do you say that? You know why. It's the reason you're here. I would still like you to tell me. Drag over the gory details, you mean? Why should I? It's all in the past. And that's where you like to leave it. Just move on. Yes. These sessions might be compulsory, but you can't make me talk about things that I don't want to talk about. OK, I understand how you feel. I doubt it. Look, I've been through this many times. No one has been through what I have. And I won't go back there. Not for you or for anyone else. Look, our sessions are already booked. Why don't you stop resisting me and see what happens? 
I have just had the longest chat with Timothy Carson. What? what? He was in the cafe waiting for some tests. Oh, um, and it, it went well, obviously. He is the neatest kid. He reminded me that the surgery that Ethan did was a success. It added years to his life. Any news on Daniel? Uh, TK found him. Um, I'm seeing them at lunchtime. Is that all you're going to tell me? Sarah, I can see something's really wrong. Maybe I can help. No, you can't. And anyway, it, it's more than just Daniel. I found that last patient hard going. Because... She had a miscarriage, then a hysterectomy. She's clinically depressed. She can't bear the thought of not having children. And you empathise. Of course you do. Well, no, it's, it's more than that. It just brought it all back to me. Our baby was due about now. I could be holding it, seeing TK's face when... I'm sorry, I, I don't usually talk about this. It is better to talk about it than let it eat you up. I just wish that it could have been different. But it wasn't meant to be. Life is like that. You can't dwell on it. Uh, no, and, and I don't usually. It was just seeing that patient. But unlike her, you can try again. Yes, so why am I feeling so sorry for myself? Anyway, um, back to you and Timothy. Good on you. You're moving on, yeah? Yeah. Are you sure you're okay? Yep, it's out of my system now. Thank you for listening. I won't put you through it again. <laughs> no problem. Have you read The Northern yet? No, I haven't had time yet. Callum, I left a copy on your desk. Yeah. Last night's bash got a great write-up, lots of photos. Of who? Chris and I feature quite strongly. Unlike you and Brooke, I'm afraid you didn't make the cut. Well, someone must have nabbed your paper. You just can't trust those HODs. Yeah, look, don't worry about it. I'll get to it later. At least they can't run away with your computer. Check your inbox. For what? Your e-copy of Medicine Today. They were there too, and you get a mention. What kind of mention? Have a look. I just wanted to make a few bucks, but it all got out of hand. I never meant to hurt anyone. I'm sure you didn't. I'll make it up to Hunter. I don't know how, but I will. What about the money, Dan? Whatever it takes to sort this. I'll work my butt off, pay you back every cent. And I'll never cross the line again, I promise. Uh, another promise, right. No, I mean it. No, I think he does, Sarah. He's had a big wake-up call. You're so good at this, aren't you? Good at what? I believe him, that's all. No, I'm telling the truth. I'll prove it to you. Just don't send me back to Samoa. I don't know what to do with you. I don't know anything anymore. I knew it. She wants me gone. I should have just jumped the bus this morning. Something's happened. Something else. Just wait here. Hi. Thanks for meeting me. What's this about? I hadn't saw you a few hours ago. Well, since then, I've been doing a bit of research. Would you like your old job back at Shortland Street? That never have me. That wasn't the question. Of course I would. I was charged, nurse. I loved it. But I've been, been tried for murder. I've been diagnosed as mentally unstable. There is no... You problem. were acquitted. And your mental health is being effectively managed. You took leave on the understanding you could return. So legally, they have to keep your position open for you. Look, it's all in here. You can go back any time. Well, there's no point. No one would want to work with me, and I'd be managed out in a month. You don't know that. I know hospitals. Maya, you just said that you loved nursing. This could be your best chance to get back in. Don't you at least want to give it a try? She only came to see me because her husband was so upset. He's struggling too. He wants kids so badly. Babe, hey, I'm not him. You're not Larissa. Well, you are so him, but no, you're right. I'm not Larissa. I can still have kids. And, and we haven't talked about it. So what are you thinking about? Trying again? I can't. I'm sorry. I know how much you want to be a dad. I want you. Everything else is icy and I can live without it. Are you hearing me? No, but you're meant to be a dad. It's in you. I see it every day. Oh, you, you see me do my best to hold on to what we have, and that includes Daniel. Oh, Daniel has nothing but trouble in Samoa, and I thought that I could make a difference, but I've just made things worse. But you haven't. You've done everything right. Well, then why does he keep lying and cheating? Does he hate me? Is that it? If he did, he wouldn't want to stay here so badly. And it's not just you. He's lied to us both. 
You know how he winds me up? I'm sorry. It's not your fault. That's what I'm saying. He's mixed up. He needs to sort himself out. We have to be patient. I know. And I don't want him to go away. I, I was just having a bad day. You want to tell him that? I can't. I'll only cry. Have you seen medicine today? I'm just looking at it. The photo of us? Did you have any idea? None. Me neither. I'm just glad it's such a flattering shot. Yeah. Did you realise that all across the world, our peers will be waking up to this? Yes, I do. So losing the baby and then with your mother's MS, we decided we couldn't do it again. So no more kids. This baby, he would have been like born now. And uh, this patient brought it all back. That's why your mum's so down. It's not just about you. Should I go see her? I think she'd like that. I'm sorry about before. Oh, it's cool. Why didn't you tell me about the baby? It was a difficult, really miserable time, and it didn't seem fair to load it on you. Well, I wouldn't have minded. I knew there was something wrong back then. I thought it was me. When I first arrived, that's what happened, right? No, it was a few weeks before that. Just before you came to Samoa? Yeah, I really wanted to see you so badly. I oh, no, I bet you did. Daniel? What? No, I, I get it now. That's the only reason you brought me over. You didn't want me. You wanted a replacement for your lost kid. That's not true. That's why it's all gone wrong for me here, because I'm not really wanted. And I never have been. How can you say that? Because it's true. You're using me. <laughs> I'm your one last pathetic shot at motherhood, aren't I, Sarah? Aren't I? I'm so sorry. Sometimes sorry. I can't turn in my own son. Just isn't enough. It's too late for talking. I know what I have to do. <laughs> Shortland Street, 7 o'clock tomorrow, TV2.